Buenos dias, everybody. Um, this is Carlos, and here's my tent. Um, I want to give you some context. I'll give it again in a moment. But um, that way appears to be east. There's the sun. I'm in the Pinelands of New Jersey. We're in Ocean County. And uh, I woke up not too long ago. I didn't sleep too well, but I basically set my tent up renegade style and um, on some land. I'm not sure whose it is. Um, I've done this you know, before, but I'm not sure I'm doing any more just in case I end up incriminating myself. I don't trust laws. Um, I don't go out of my way to break them, but I think most of them are absurd and oppressive. But anyway, so here's my tent. Um, I'm in the Pinelands, I said, and I'm getting close to the um, the actual Pinelands. I'm um, just kind of in the outskirts in Ocean County, Northern Ocean County. Um, but I'm close to the parkway, and that's Route 70 there, and that kind of was some white noise that uh, maybe helped me sleep. I don't know. I don't want to give cars credit. I'm doing something called Carless Carlos right now. So I don't want to give any positive credit to cars for helping me out. But I do want to get this tent put away and maybe possibly more viewers will be attracted. I have heard that the longer your, I, you know, ironically, the longer your videos, live videos are, the more people show up, which makes a lot of sense. But um, generally, the longer videos are in general, the less people would want to watch the whole thing because... Um, the attention span of all of us has been destroyed and who wants to sit around and watch something anyways you know maybe it's part of the human being to not sit around and watch something um so oh yeah let me get the trees so definitely piney type trees trees that do well on and actually that's a sassafras tree right there i was looking for them earlier because i could eat that um but mostly pines and um yeah so i'm gonna put it down switch the view and hopefully you can watch me take apart my tent but i did have some thoughts on occupying in general and i heard that they're gonna try and occupy starting again in new york and brooklyn in september but i'll talk about that in a minute here i am hi all right so let me put this down and see if i get the tent yeah, all right, so I'm just gonna put away the tent if you want this to be part of your morning routine for this morning, then that's fine. Thank you for welcoming me into your abode. I think, I think that's a good view. Yeah, all right. I'm no expert tent take downer, but anyways, here we go. Just for some facts, um, yesterday, I'm gonna keep doing the tent in a minute, um, but just some things for you to chew on. Um, yesterday, 
I left Monmouth County, walked probably about a dozen miles, and today two dozen, so I'll keep it in dozens. Um, more or less, I'm planning on doing that. But I'm going to some stops. First, I'm going to where the SRL pipeline ends, which um, is not built, but it's a fracked gas pipeline, which are all new to New Jersey. There's uh, several proposed fracked gas pipelines that are coming from Pennsylvania, where, uh, as those of us who have seen Josh Fox's Gasland movie, we know Pennsylvania was a target for fracking and they succumbed to allow a lot of it. So now there's, I guess, a glut in Pennsylvania and they're trying to get it out through pipelines and New Jersey is a logical place because it stands between Pennsylvania and the coast, which makes, which they don't tell you this, the companies aren't telling this, it's not so popular to uh, say so they with, withhold this information um, but it's probably for export to wherever um, but the fracking model itself is unsustainable not just immoral but it's actually uh, it takes so much energy to get a little bit out that the companies economically um, need huge loans and I guess they're called junk bonds they they're a really bad investment, but for whatever reason, banks keep giving them money anyways. So if we could just even delay these pipelines in any way um, and harry their, their pro progression forward, it might be enough to have them not even ever built. Um, and if they're built, they might not even be used that much because, um, you know, there might not be the sudden ton of natural gas that is has to have somewhere to go, which is what they're saying they need it. Um, so that's one stop. And then another stop is um, they're developing a lot in this area. So um, where I am now is just like, it's probably like three acres of forest. But basically, um, there's my tent dead a little bit. Um, that's right, I gotta pack it up and keep going. But um, on the way here, I remembered, <clears throat> I recalled from the freeholder meeting last week, basically that um, freeholders are like the county kind of government, that they took it as a matter of pride, that's why he announced it, I think the guy's name was Vicari, um, the head freeholder. He said that Ocean County is the fastest growing county in, the, um, in New Jersey, and New Jersey is the most densely populated state in the country. Both of those facts, fastest growing as far as population and um, uh, densest uh, population in the, in the country, I think are not things to be prideful about. It's a, it's a warning that humans are way too loaded and concentrated in an area it's not good for the ecosystem it's not good probably for the humans there um so it's not something to to tout but uh you can definitely see that ocean county is rapidly developing there's so many new strip malls and um i actually went to i was trying to get some water yesterday and i went to a quick check and it wasn't even open yet it looked new it looked brand new but nobody uh it was it teased me um, and then I felt ashamed because I'm like supporting just another thing that killed what probably would have been forests like this. Um, so yeah, things are developing way too quick here um, in Ocean County. And I'm going to speak to this later on another video that I do for Citizens Media TV. I've been doing a series for them as I've been walking towards Cape May and protesting and trying to raise awareness around environmental issues. Um, all right, I'm gonna put this down and keep doing my tent. So, um, yeah, trying to make what's probably a very dull thing as interesting as possible. So I hope that those of you watching it are at least somewhat intrigued. Yeah, there we go. All right, now that the phone's just gotta stay. All right. By the way, this is also, uh, you might feel like you're sacrificing your life by watching this, like a few moments of your life. I'm sacrificing my battery, so, um, so, but it's important that we connect, we stay connected even when we're in the wilderness. But actually, I'm very connected here. I felt very close to the fungi and whatever else is going on underneath the soil. Very acidic soil, though, so it's not super good for life, but... 
um, it still shouldn't be cut down and turned into a parking lot. That's my thought. Unfortunately, it's a little wet. The dew happens here too, but not too bad. But uh, it's gonna add some extra weight to my wall. Not too much. Right. Hold on one second, everybody. All right, just hold on. All right, hope you've been holding on. So, that, that was a hug. Um, all right, so I'm ready. I'm going out into the vastness. So I'll bring you with me um, so you can see where I was. Here, let me get my, sorry, I've been paranoid all day or all night. Somebody was watching me, knew where I came in and was gonna do something scary, steal my organs or something. Um, so here's where my tent was, and now uh, there's nothing. Look with me. I don't see anything. I think I'm good to go. Um, I don't want to leave anything here. Unfortunately, I don't have too many possessions that I really care for. Uh, Alright, so here we go. Again, for context, this way is east. In case you were wondering, that's the sun. Some nice shade coming in. There I am. Here, let's let me wave into. You can see my shadow waving. All right. Alrighty. I did just write something actually on shadows. The how shadows only in um, with artificial light do we have artificial shadows that actually don't move for huge amounts of time. Um, everywhere else in all of the history of this planet light coming from the sun changes as the sun moves across the sky and light from fire uh, is always dancing around so we're in an anomalous time the last whenever edison made the terrible mistake of inventing artificial light and throwing off so much of, of a balance um, of what it is for I guess people had lights before that but that might have been the first like totally steady light that didn't flicker that wasn't candlelight um, so maybe I gotta find out who created candles and be mad at them too all right <clears throat> By patch of woods. So there's no sign here that says future site for development, but um, I don't think there needs to be to know that this is under threat. This, um, if you look around, everything around here 20, 30 years ago is probably all wooded besides this highway. And now it's just a bunch of stuff. A bunch of civilization. Welcome to civilization. So that right there says, uh, Home Depot, but the sun is 
blinding us from seeing that it's Home Depot. It's probably a good thing. Sun is a better thing to look at than the Home Depot sun. And I gotta say, I passed at least like three Home Depots and two Lowe's in the dozen miles I said I went today. So, what does it say about what we do? We replicate ourselves wherever we go. Um, I think it's the uh, definition of a disease. Uh, that this trail of destruction that we do daily. Like these people are just daily sitting in thousands of pounds of metal and plastic going hundreds of miles, well collectively billions of miles, just to go to their stupid job and think that they're helping produce something um, when really all we are doing is destroying the planet. So I think it's pretty fucked up. Um, this is our lovely parkway I'm about to walk under. So, um, all right. Yeah, oh, I was looking for my phone. <laughs> it's here in me hand. Um, <clears throat> all right, so I'm gonna end this pretty soon. But I did wanna say, because I, I think I wrote Occupy in Pinelands, question mark. Um, I, I've long been of the opinion that Occupy is the right idea and, and we, I feel like we have to share our opinions to evolve the discourse and where we're going. Occupying was the right idea and the next step in evolution of it in general is to occupy the land before shit like this happens to it. But not occupy cities really because cities already over occupied they're not sustainable ecosystemically they're not healthy places they're enemy territory and that they're destroyed territory what we really need to do is get on back on the land man this is going to be painful yeah. i can cross that is occupy the everybody just wants to get on the parkway man is occupy farmlands or woodlands that we can protect and do some wood uh you know forest gardening and um i know that some of you may know dusty hines i haven't met him personally but i know he was at occupy because i met his friend nate who is also of the same mind that, that and they were both occupiers from the original i only visited i didn't i didn't um i didn't set up a permanent place. I did sleep one night. But, um, they uh, are of the mind, I think Dusty still has on his Facebook page, we need 50 million farmers coast to coast. I think he said organic farmers. And that's really what it's about. Like if we all produce our own food, we uh, that's a huge amount of control that is wrested from giant corporations and given right back to us because once you have your own food um, you actually can have a real movement you can't have a real movement that isn't bit super vulnerable if you don't have your own food source um, and because it's vulnerable and nothing does happen to it it begs the question of which forces are allowing it and which which would like to get rid of it. And once, there, once there's a critical mass of forces that don't want your movement to go on, of powerful forces, they will stop it very easily by starving you out. I think we're already in a war of attrition, a long, long war of attrition. Um, we're all nutrient starved. We eat and we get calories, but our, uh, we're slowly decaying thus the autoimmune diseases etc 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 um all right so i'm gonna end it here i got a lot of walking to do but this is carlos carlos um doing my thing got a little bit over 100 miles zigzagging down left to get to cape may and finish this version of carlos carlos i'll be back doing some other stuff but i wanted to say hi to Occupy or whatever this channel is. I think it's Occupy something related. Um, Alright, that's all. No two fascism yet. I got had this hat. I actually just really needed a hat that day in January and they had one that 
had that on it. I don't know if I agree with all of refusefascism.org's ideas, um, but certainly fascism is something to fight uh, in every form. And the best way to fight is to get healthy and build our own collectives, I think, um, and not just go around hating. Uh, but there needs to be an outlet for anger. We're all taking a beating. Biomass around the planet's dying. People are oppressed. The two are not just coincidentally happening. happening. Uh, oppression and extinction go hand in hand. So, um, anyways, all right, I said I was gonna end it, so now I am. There's the sun. Make sure to look up at the sun. I'm a big sun worshiper. So, I think. All right, hasta luego.